All right, so the next thing that I want to get into is this right here, chat. Reaction Tevin, what? You've never seen it. I recently found out somebody else was doing challenge runs of Persona 5. So I wanted to do a reaction. I am the greatest Persona 5 player that's not a speed runner, I would say. In terms of the understanding of the combat mechanics, the confidants, pretty much everything. I've played it enough times to where it's literally ingrained in my memory of what to do outside of a few things. So, chat, stop. Get your high YouTubes out of the way because this is a YouTube video too. YouTube frogs, this is your opportunity to make an impact on the chat as well, on my stream. Because if you get 3,000 likes on every single video that I post this month, I will do a Joker only, arson only, risky difficulty run scripted Persona 5 Strikers Challenge run. I saw this video on my recommended. It is a challenge run of Persona 5. Someone made a Persona 5 challenge run. I will link their video down in the description. Screen mints. Um, as the resident greatest Persona 5 player in the world, I've played the game 85 times. I have 4,000 hours recorded across both Persona 5 Vanilla and Persona 5 Royal. I know the game literally better than anybody on the entire planet. Maybe sans the developers. I have played the game to where I could almost do it with my eyes closed. I can tell you who is fighting what, what is possible, what's not possible. Outside of the speedrun community, I think I'm probably the fastest player in the game. So can you beat Persona 5 Royal on Merciless using only physical attacks? I can tell you straight up, this is not gonna be easy or simple at all. And there are a few reasons why this one's gonna be tough. Um, a lot of you guys already know, I'm already expecting Okuma is gonna be a, a pain in the ass. There's an Abaddon fight later on that you have to fight and he absorbs physical and gun and uh, Shiki. I'm actually not sure if Shiki's doable at all, but I don't think you have to fight Shiki because this is Royal. You can avoid Shiki Oji entirely. So you can't do items, this is physical, physical only. This person can use persona skills, but they can only use gun skills and physical skills. I will say beforehand, this is doable. I know it's doable. You guys might think it's not doable. It actually is doable, except for maybe the last boss in the game. I'm not going to spoil it because some of you haven't played Royal. I, I'm i almost certain this is doable up until the very last boss of the game. So. Of the game, Merciless. I think he's taking a gnarly approach to it. I can tell that this doesn't sound like my style of video. Uh, he might start making jokes in a little bit, but I can definitely automatically hear the gnarly influence um, as far as challenge runs go. There's only one way to find out. I'm pumped. Also, this is Senza's uh, font. So shout out Senza too. Oh, I see. So after Kazumi brutally murders us, we form an alliance with her and we fight the shadows off. Once okay, again, a little bit of my style in it. I can see attack, this guy is using so everybody. They're scripted to crit every time, but it's also scripted to miss the last one so then Kazumi can finish him off and do her all at attack. And this one, he's right. You crit no matter what, but it's faster to guard because she crits everybody with Vorpal Blade anyway. So the fastest way you want to get out of here is if you just guard immediately, she will automatically crit all three. But unfortunately, the police end up capturing him and telling him the current sales of his Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Amiibo. You were sold out. And the game That's finally a pretty fire began. joke, actually. I let my chat give me names, put them into a wheel, and this is what the wheel decided. Let's take a look. Joker Chungus, Snitch 9, I like that one. Joker Persona, Foreskin Fabio, Jerk Off Jones, Grieving Thanos, Seaman Savior, I think that's the best one. Kasumi Chungus, that's terrible. Minecraft 1, 2, 3, Penis Parker, Bruh Persona, We Love Weezer. <laughs> These are terrible names. Jeez Louise. Seaman Savior is the only one that's any good. <laughs> Penis Parker. Penis Parker. Cutscenes run on a little long. The amount of shit I cut from my runs, you should now understand how, how much this is. Cause look how much he's keeping in. It's a three part video, and this part one is 31 minutes. I get the feeling that's what's going on. My boy opened up Twitter and got sent to Brazil. In terms of rules, obviously with this being a physical only run, we can only use physical attacks. Meaning whenever we do damage to the enemy, it should be through physical attacks, at least if we're attacking directly. That means no gun, fire, nuke. 
that changes the run entirely. Without gun, I don't know if this is possible. Gun is a physical attack. I, I think he means from category. So no gun ch literally changes this entire, the entire, my entire understanding of the run. That almost makes me think that Abaddon is not possible and the last boss is not possible. Shinya's Confidant, if you reach level 10, allows you to shoot through things that have resistances. So it's possible to, uh, to remove people's resistances to gun if you use Shinya, which I would count as a, as a physical attack. That's problematic. That's really problematic. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, that also removes the ability to beat uh, Okumura. Originally, I thought Okumura was going to, he was gonna use uh, Haru's triple down. Cause if you have Haru's triple down or if you grind long enough to get um, one shot kill, she can just crit through the entire, the entire cast. She's nasty. Even with physical attacks, if you just grind high enough, you can grind into like the seventies and then you just triple down. Even on Merciless, people get mowed. If he learns drain everything or reflect everything, because Abaddon, I'm pretty certain, uses ice moves, maybe? And if he has Reflect Ice, there's a chance that he could beat the Abaddon boss. But the last boss in the game, I don't think ha there, I don't think there's literally any chance, because it uses Almighty. Items that do direct damage to enemies, like Stun Gun and whatnot, are also banned, as that's still us doing damage to the enemy. Oh, uh, there he goes. And less impossible to win with physical. So he, he, already, he already knew. I think he should have allowed Gun for this. I think Gun's a physical attack. Yeah, re Repel Damage is allowed. Healing and Support Skills are allowed. So Tetrakarn, Tetrakarn might come in. To play. I want to max out Takemi because one, she's Takemi, and two, she'll help me get more healing items. You know, I, you actually don't need to do this, but I generally don't use uh, Takemi because if you're smart enough, uh, Maruki will make sure you never run out of SP. And since you have to max him out anyway, you will you'll literally never have to to worry about SP because the mixture of him and Futaba, as well as going to the gym and meditating. If you go into the gym and meditate instead of seeing Takemi as ma as many times as you need to. You'll have max health and max SP super early in the game. I think you guys have seen my runs where I have like nine, 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 all stuff before Okumura. So I would, I would disagree with this one, but it still works, especially cause he he's using healing and support stuff. I want to have Futaba at at least rank six because she can randomly give us charge, which will make our physical attacks for that turn do 2.5 times damage. Okay. This is, this is the first one that I have a big problem with. Futaba to me is damn near essential to, to be level 10 every single run, no excuses. Ryuji level seven and Futaba level 10 literally every single time because her, the active support she can charge up people at six, but at level nine, she will literally replace your teammates if they die. If two of your teammates die, she will replace them. And at level 10, she will block an instant kill. She'll literally block an insta kill, which is really good. Like. There's shit in this game that will insta-kill you on some unfortunate shit. And while I agree that you should get Ryuji just so he has protect, Futaba having it for your entire party is like dumb good. And I think she has a level seven or eight that gives you a much higher SP or like your moral support will be higher. This is my first one that I like hard disagree with. And I say that Futaba needs to be 10. Morgana then ejaculates and gets his persona, which okay. is actually pretty good. His persona Personas are stored in the balls, healing, that's fast. Also learns if not only does Ryuji learn a multitude of good physical attacks, but he's also the only party member to learn charge. If you go to the jazz club, you can get charge on any party member. So. Yeah. Hey, you have to hang on, okay? Yeah, I learned this one myself. If you don't crit, Every single turn, there's literally no chance. On Merciless, you have to use the uh, electricity. The run ends pretty much right here. After killing the two horses, the big red dude didn't have much to defend himself, leaving him easy to pick He actually up. won this one? Wow. I'm impressed. Hey, what I tell you? That's really impressive. This fight is annoying as fuck. Fun fact, you actually need to block with Ryuji turn one, because he will always use Magaru first. And if you don't pay attention, the Magaru will give him a one more and he'll kill a party member off the rip. This is good. This guy's good. You know what? Even with these attack buffs, they still weren't doing enough damage for Morgana to steal the crown. You're gonna have to so grind. I, decided... I think he's probably trying to avoid over grinding for one it takes too much time he's probably going to spend about 100 and maybe like 100 110 hours on this on this run just because of how much time he's committing to social links you can avoid all of that literally all of that by just grinding in the palace i forgot to fuse Barrett. the better option is slime because slime resists physical attacks which Beareth does not i'm pretty sure and has a much higher strength and endurance stat he's slower but 
It, that's the better option. Slime's the better option there. Wait, no, I didn't guard. No, I forgot. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I... You also need to fucking guard. Yeah, nine strength and eight endurance compared to a one level higher slime with like 12 strength, 13 endurance at the cost of low luck and low agility is just crazy. Let's fucking go. Fuck you, Morgana. Your plan sucks dick. Fuck you. Fuck you. I agree. Fuck you, Morgana. Morgana does suck fucking dick. Morgana. Fucking stupid motherfucking cat. Dumb piece of shit cat. Piece fucking garbage talking fucking cat talk that He's shit hey talk your shit, shit yeah Castle. yeah talk your shit king my man was he was popping off he was pissed off about that people come in they go Yusuke, obviously the highest strength stat in the game. Absolute beast, but he's a glass cannon. He'll just get fucking rocked. A lot of you guys said Madarame can't be beaten without, like, how's he gonna beat the mouth? If you wait three turns by just guarding and healing, the paint will become available. And you can just throw the paint on him. He becomes weak to all affinities and you can just smack him. A little fun fact about Madarame, if you use Bless, Bless actually attacks every single one of these with damage. I know it's weird. I have no, I, I have no idea how that works. It's like a loophole. Bless is the only thing that hits every single one of these. Because there really were that many strats that went into beating this fight physical only, and I'm probably the only human being stupid enough to actually try to figure this out. Not the only one, buddy. And Musuke can finally post his nude painting of Joker on the internet. I will put my heart in We enter Kaneshiro. This one's easy. Station. This one is simple. As well as the fact that I have a move named Rebellion on Joker, which ups the crit He has rate of Rebellion already? How oh, the fuck did he get Rebellion so fast? Place. There's nothing hard in this in this palace. I'm just going to skip to the boss. As you may expect, I died. He said he can use DLC accessories. He doesn't have to do this. There's a DLC accessory that stops you from getting ailments of any kind. That way technicals don't happen. Also, you should 100% have Shiki by this point in the game. What am I chomping on? Chicken strips. Yes, I found someone not a gun and fit. How, you know for a fact that Shiki is, is maybe it's just because we've played and we know about Shiki on this channel, but I think anybody who's anybody in, in Persona knows how fucking absolute beast mode Shiki is. Also, take, a, take notice to the fact that his Ryuji is ranked 10 already. This is third palace. Yeah, I'd have Ryuji ranked 10 too. And uh, Vanilla, I think he was only, he only nulled uh, physical gun and curse. And then in Royal, I was like, oh, they're gonna nerf him. And then they nullified his bless. What the fuck was going on there? The Once you get Gallows, it's just, it's just over. I'll give you the TLDR. Futaba's palace is easy as fuck. Just wait for the ballista like you have to. Use the ballista, beat the shit out of Wakaba. Boom, boom, bam, bop. All right, I have to watch part two because the Okuma fight's you know, here. I'm skipping Futaba. Also, shout out to this dude for giving chapters. Even I don't put chapters in my shit. Thank you very much to Screen Mints. Uh, Screen Mints is the guy who made this. I know chat's covering it up. Screen Mints made this. Like I said, I'll link the video in the description for you guys on YouTube. Please give this guy a shout out. Or my- See how he, hold on, hold on. I have two big problems. One, look at his health. He's not utilizing the gym. But did you guys notice that he's still using Shiki? Two things. One, go to the gym. That's not just life advice. It's literally the best thing in Persona 5 Royal in terms of challenge run mechanics and combat mechanics. It will max out your health and your SP before Okumura's fight. You don't even have to do it to that extent like I do, but you can have 999 before Okumura's fight. It's a great mechanic. All you have to do is follow Ryuji's confidant, which you have to do anyway because insta-kill is guaranteed. You get it at rank five or six, blast it. Insta kill is rank seven. That's insta kill. I'm talking about the gym. You get the gym at rank five or six. So we're finished with Futaba's palace and we're waiting for her to get out of her coma. Bitch, I'm back on my coma. Breaking up on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> bitch with no shoulder. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do anymore. I'm gonna get DMCA. The RIAA are gonna fucking. That was a really good. That was a really good, Jake. I can't, I can't do anymore. That was a really good joke. I fuck with that heavy. I fuck with that heavy. Anyways, after Futaba wakes up from her coma, we hack <laughs> <laughs> That's not important. Well, she just wasn't doing it for me, as I could really only just regular attack with her, and I wasn't doing the damage I needed it to be doing. And I agree. For his run, Haru is pretty whack, dude. If he runs into Ar Okuma's palace, is probably the hardest one for this because Aryabaki, Black Slime, the all the mini bosses, 
Geary McCullough. Yeah. Black Slime will resist it and can give you hunger, which halves your damage. And they can summon more. Aryabaki reflects it. Geary McCullough reflects it. All the mini bosses are resistant. And then the, all the bosses are resistant too. That's a fucking problem. They'll give you like a choice of two or three bosses and it's like, oh, one of them's right, but one of them's wrong. And I couldn't be fucked to figure out which one it was, so I just went for both. The easiest way to tell if it's the right boss or not, the boss that you're looking for always has red text. The boss that's not correct has no red text. The easiest thing I can tell you is literally 10 minutes of grinding and mementos will, will net you probably like four or five levels. You won't have to do that shit again. He still has, like, all his ideas are good. I, I didn't expect him to even beat the Elagor Ryuji Awakening fight. Incredible. That is the worst fucking move in the game. I fucking hate that move. The fight with Michael and the Angels makes this move my, my least favorite move in the entire game. I can't expose their weakness like the fight wants me to do to beat them, to even have a chance at beating them. Because That's not even the worst part about this. The worst part about this is that Okumura will buff their one of their defense and will inflict hunger on your party, which halves your damage, which is like the fucking literal worst thing on the planet. Beating these in three turns is hard enough. But the buffing defense and adding hunger to somebody in your party is so fucking annoying. But, like I said, I've beaten this with just Haru. It's not that hard. You just have to grind a little bit. Unfortunately, grinding is just part of JRPG culture. You can avoid grinding if you want, but if you do, you're going to run into problems like this man is having right now. Here's the plan. My first course of action is to get the support skill Revolution. The reason I want it is... Revolution's really good. Revolution's really areas, good. That's a good idea. The plan was simple. Revolution every three turns. Plan is simple. Shout out Ludwig. Or, and passes it off to Joker in the end to Deathbound and kill three of them. Okuma, I use a sacrifice order on the- that, This is really impressive work. I, I will say, for his understanding of like knowing that crit is gonna get him out of this fight is really, really good. I personally didn't think that this was gonna be all that doable, but exploiting crit is really good. So shout out to, shout out to him, cause I, it, it, might, it might've taken me a lot longer to figure this out. Also shout out to my light to, for just going out. Getting through this fight, he, he, had a, he has a very good plan. I think the last boss will be harder. Shouldn't have guarded. He would've healed. Holy shit, what? What just happened? He guarded and got 512'd, bro. This is why I recommend grinding and going to the gym, because nothing will one-shot you at 999. I'd be pissed off too, because that means he has to do all that shit again. He has too low of health. He doesn't. Ma he didn't max rank Futaba, which you should for that reason. He didn't do a lot of things he should have, but he didn't know. He did not know. Cross slash, big crit. Big crit. Wow. Yep, that's it. That's game. Crits do three times Holy damage shit. in uh, Merciless. So quick. You just block here. You can't even. You can't even kill her in time. You just block. Okay. Oh my God! Maybe you can kill her. Fuck it. I've never seen someone abuse crit like this. This is nuts. That's Okumura done, motherfuckers. That was really good. That was really impressive. He probably probably took him a long time for this, but I but I respect it. I'm not. I'm just gonna say this off the rip. Don't use a catchy in size palace. Never use a catchy. Stop, don't use a catchy. I don't care how good that motherfucker is. He is a detriment to your party if you leave him in, and you know why. You're wasting XP that you would get for other party members by having him there and that's gonna make you weaker later on. Not unless you have Mishima level 10. If you have Mishima level 10, you can do whatever you want. Joker leading it. Joker cannot lead. <laughs> That shit is, that'll, that'll never not be funny to me. That'll never not be funny to me. <laughs> that, that little that little jump kick out is that's hilarious. Like awake. Well, I'm having a problem here. What are the fights in this battle right now? These guys, they repel fibs. Yup, here's the thing though. I think they only use curse attacks. And I'm pretty sure they null curse attacks. Ooh. Please don't be non curse. Yeah. Yeah, Rongda has four nullifications too. Yeah, that sucks. Maybe I can despair them. Uh -oh. Nope. Uh -oh. That don't work. These enemies know despair, brainwash, and every other sort of ailment I can do in this yep. run that will actually do damage to them. But I made one last ditch effort. 
Futaba's rank 7 confidant is named Treasure Reboot, and it has a chance to revive search objects in the area after battle. Oh, he's going for Megiddo Bomb. These could revive the casino chips that you get from the presence inside of the casino. So maybe I could just grind enemies for like a few fucking hours and get enough chips like that, and then bypass the battle arena entirely. Unfortunately, after grinding Futaba's confidant to get her to that point, it didn't end up working. No, that doesn't Treasure work. Reboot, I guess, just doesn't revive those types of objects. So, I was boned. And unfortunately, that brings an end to this physical-only run. But look on the bright side. Akechi never betrays us. Sure, we never... See, he just he spoiled the game uh, outright. Yeah, this was this was one of the run-enders that I would predicted. That's why I think gun's necessary to do it. But a hell of an effort, like... The Okumura strat, I was like, holy shit, that's crazy, dude. I didn't think that that, I didn't think that shit was going to be possible literally at all. Um, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. He can't beat the game. That's why I think gun should have been allowed. I understand what he means by physical being just like straight shots. But um, yeah, there are several points in time where this isn't doable. I think Holy Grail is completely fine. I think everything else would have been fine. But that wronged the mini boss is like a is is bullshit. There's really no. I mean, there's nothing you can do because she knows everything. The same thing that Shiki does, and he would have, if they still had that mini boss from Persona Five Vanilla with Shiki, he couldn't have beaten Persona Five Vanilla. Facts. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think the run was fucked from the beginning. I think he should continue it. Please go subscribe to the, to the homie, Screen Mints. It was a really good effort, uh, a very well-made technical video. You can tell he put a lot of time and effort into it, and definitely go check out his stuff. We're going to get stupid again tomorrow. 3,000 likes, 2,000 subs. This is the, the month of Tevin, goddammit, and I will keep working for y'all. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!